I think my uh, my pre preparation has been uh, pretty good, especially the last five weeks um, uh, before the race uh, since I arrived here. Has been has been pretty good. Of course, the, the starting the season probably was a little bit busy because of the of the win last year. I mean, at the start of the season, you have a lot of uh, appointments besides just like your daily training routine for sure. But I think that that was always also good um, uh, when you look at this race because you have some uh, momentum going into uh, into October. Um, instead of just like being very fit on uh, June, July at the early season races and then probably lose a little, lose a little bit of momentum later in the year. So uh, I think I'm pretty confident with my, with my preparation and uh, yeah, now everything is done and it's just about the race now. <laughs> yeah, so the key is always, of course, how your, uh, your body and your mind is working together on, uh, on the big day. I mean, you prepare your body the, the whole year, not only the whole year, but probably the last 20 years. And, um, but on, uh, on the big day, you also just don't have to have the, the shape and the fitness level, but you also uh, need, need, the, need the mind to, to work in, uh, with you. And um, yeah, that's, that's the thing that, that screw up even the, the, fittest, uh, the fittest people out there. And both have to come together on a very high level and that's what it makes so difficult to win. Well, the age group um, uh, racing here, of course, is big and everybody uh, um, has qualified. So there, there, there is some experience out there. Um, I guess I don't need to give any first time or advice, but it's still the same thing, no matter if it's a pro race or the age group race. Um, uh, since there are so many people out there and uh, it's just like very difficult to, uh, to go your own speed and uh, try to uh, hold back when you when you have a lot in the tank at the beginning of the race so it's always the same advice I guess it's just like be patient be patient out there just uh, stay under control pretty much till the turnaround point in Harvey and then you start you could start to, uh, to give, a, give a little bit more uh, <laughs> more from what you what you got and uh, that's pretty much where the race really really starts and uh, of course it's the same on the marathon at the beginning there are a lot of spectators especially on a lead drive and it's very easy to to screw up your race on a lead drive and also Polani road um, by going a little bit too hard because you're euphoric um, uh, you you have a lot of um, uh, yeah great feelings out there and then starts to get really tough and then there's no spectators anymore and so yeah I think that's just my advice like everybody would give you is just like be patient and uh, yeah try to stick to the plan don't screw up your nutrition and uh, I mean there's a lot of things to, to watch out but that's pretty much I think the most common mistake I mean, last year I already had the winning uh, combination with their S1 uh, swim skin and uh, Kona Dream Suit. And um, uh, I think we uh, really steadily improved um, uh, this combination. And it's just great to work together with guys who, who listen uh, to, uh, to what the, the athlete demand. Um, uh, and that's, that's just, just good. Um, we did a lot of testing uh, in, the, in the wind tunnel together with some other partners and that's just really, really good. It's, um, uh, it gives you a good feeling, I know the data and uh, that's, that's a good feeling if you, uh, if you know that you have like uh, one of the probably the fastest um, uh, swim skin and um, uh, yeah, race, suit, race suit combination. And yeah, it's just cool uh, to see how, how quick um, the guys are with, with de developing new stuff and adopting uh, um, input from me.